So this slams backwards, so it's a good thing I checked. If I don't get this lamb out, I'm gonna lose this mom. This is the lamb I'm gonna try to foster. So we'll see if this will work. Let's see how you can stand. Make sure everything's okay. I'm sorry, I know labor labor sucks, but it's so worth it. Yes. Are you good? I know. Nothing this morning. So a sure way to get lambing started is go back in the house. So it's 6 a.m. and uh, I just noticed in my Nest cameras on my computer that uh, IU is really straining hard. So I'm just running in here quick to see if she needs assistance or she's just starting labor. But I don't know. She's been straining for probably about 20 minutes, half an hour. So I just wanted to go in and check and make sure she's okay. I think she just spit it out literally a second ago. She doesn't even know it's there yet. I don't even think it's all the way out yet. Oh, I guess you were fine. Hey mom, turn around. Turn around. It's a big lamb. Turn around. What's there? What's that? Hello? Come on. That's it. That's it. I'm just gonna back away. I think she's come on, Mom. Moving. Come on. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in the warm room and so she thinks I've left and I'm gonna check my camera. Okay, I'm just gonna check my camera here. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, focus. Closer. Yeah, she just didn't want me in there. Okay, I gave him a little time to bond. And the baby's already trying to drink. <laughs> so I might just move her now that she's been getting a good scent on the lamb. I'm just going to check her milk and I'm going to check her for another lamb. Backwards, so it's a good thing I checked. 
Totally. That's it. That was a good push. Big boy. She's kind of trying to work with her contractions. But that's a girl. So that's why I check, because sometimes the first one might be fine, but sometimes number two can be not positioned right. So if I had just left, that lamb could have died. Looks good, Mom. She doesn't have a heck of a lot of milk. I'm hoping she'll come into it. But it's pretty thick colostrum, so likely she just hasn't really come into her milk milk yet. But those are big lambs. How's my Oreos? Beautiful. Oh my goodness. You are just too sweet. Look at those two. Aww. He's so perfect. How are you doing, popcorn? Can I see your udder today? See how much less like, they've definitely drank off that one. The other one's still a little bit swollen. And she's got those trick teats, which are always fun training babies. Because they think that's the one they need to drink out of. But it's not. I think my other black ewe is lambing. I don't know why these excite me so much. They just do. Are you pushing? There's nothing coming out. But she's pushing, so I'd like to see something. I thought I saw her pushing in my camera, too. I might have to move her or see if I can go in there and check her. Okay, I got her in a pen here. So I'm just going to do a little internal, and if everything feels okay, I'll leave her. I always say that, and then I never do, but I will try. Okay, so I got two legs. When they're coming out backwards, even if you can get one, you're good, but oh, you can get two, it's a little better. I don't know why I feel like this is what we going on. I don't feel like there's a lot of movement with this lamb. Like, I don't feel it trying to pull back on me. Which could mean it's stillborn. It's not that big, and it shouldn't be this hard of a pull. That's not good. This lamb is dead. Oh. If I don't get the slam out, I'm going to lose this mom. That's not good. Get a push, mom. I just got to get this hip out. No. Nope. Well, it's bad. Well, deformed. I knew something was going on. So I'll see if there's another one in there. There isn't. So, what I might do, I might try to foster a lamb. And I'm thinking about that one from yesterday, but I don't know. She seems like she's in a lot of shock. She's really uneven. But I might try. Okay, this is the lamb I'm gonna try to foster. So we'll see if this will work. Oh, I got a little bit here. 
except for I got her sealer right beside me, so I gotta move them to the other pen. Because she will cause problems. So I'm basically just putting all her fluids on this lamb to trick her into thinking that it's hers. But I'm gonna move these guys. So I've got all the fluids around that lamb and it's aggressive, but mom probably needs a painkiller. Or she knows. Can you get up, honey? I know it was a hard pull. Okay, I cannot get this you up, so I'm gonna give her a painkiller and some time. So it took about, it took a couple hours for this you to get up, uh, and then I realized she had another, she gave birth to another dead, kind of almost mummified lamb, so she definitely was infected with something. So I did take, um, she had a little bit of a water bag left, so I popped it kind of on this lamb, so now the lamb's kind of cold, but she's been, she's been good with it. I don't know if the lamb's found the teat or not. I'm gonna see here if I can get it on. Hey guys, you silly lamb. Reverse, 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 reverse. That's it. Are you okay? Hey, Are you okay? Hey, what's the matter with you? Is your leg sore? What's the matter? Why are you not walking? Is it your back legs? This one, yeah, she's... I think she broke her leg. I don't know how. Okay, I'm gonna fix her leg. So this foot here... Which one is it? Is it this one? When it's trying to walk, it was folding over its hawk like so, and it shouldn't want to do that. Can you see? So I'm going to, I don't know if it's got a weak tendon, it doesn't feel broken, grind in your teeth, or it's got some white muscle because it doesn't even really want to walk. So. I was going to bandage this up straight, but I don't know if it's that or not. I'm going to give it a shot of selenium because that helped the little black and white one that I had. Now, it is a little different. Yeah, see it's going over. So I am going to bandage that up and strengthen that. Um, but I'm also going to give it a shot of selenium, like just like when it was a newborn. Uh, beca but because it's over two weeks old, it says here I have to give it a half a mil. So it's a quarter mil when it's just born and a half a mil after two weeks. Okay. This won't hurt you, at least. Okay. Alright, so if you guys remember, if you've watched me before, tried to do this. What I'm going to do is wrap this little spot, because I want it straight. I want it to get stronger, so I'm going to wrap it here. And then I'm going to put something like a splint, so I'm either going to like cut this in half. I might use that, that's a nice size. And then I'll wrap over top of it. So I wrapped the bottom part of her leg and I'm using the inside of one of these vet wrap rollers as the splint and I cut it in half lengthwise. So now I'm going to, oh I wish you could see this better. So I've got that and I really just want to splint that bottom part of its leg and leave its joint free because its joint's okay. Just want to straighten that foot. So I'll leave it down at the bottom. And then I just roll, put it all together with that vet wrap again. Okay, so 
that's pretty good. I think she's in pain. I'm gonna give her a tiny little shot of Medicam because the only way, lambs I don't usually have to treat like that, but they don't usually show signs of distress and the only real sign that they show you is if they're grinding their teeth. Okay, so that should just make it, make that joint a little bit stronger. I'm not really, it's not broken. It's just uh, got a tendon issue. So that should help. Hmm? Put her back with her mom. She seems okay. I'd like to see her walk. Go for a walk. Go see mom. So we've got another set of quads. One, two, three, four. And this little guy's been doing good with mom. <laughs> now I'm just processing or recording lambs. And I'm gonna pull, I'm probably gonna pull two off this mom if I can. And Carissa is gonna She's gonna train them for me because I suck at it on the machine. I finished recording all the lambs born up till today. So far the count, we are at 224 lambs born out of 102 ewes. So that's like still, we're still sitting in around 2.2, really close to that. So far it's been worth the energy and the time and it's probably helping that I have Carissa through the days over the holidays. She's like, She's just giving me a break so I can rest. Just go to the house, have a nap on the couch. And I'm not much for napping. I don't actually like it. It makes me feel really woozy for the rest of the day. But I tell you, getting up at four and trying to daily vlog and do all this stuff, I am like, I'm, I'm <laughs> like my body's just tired. My, my brain can keep going, but my body is just like, I, Sandy, I can't walk. <laughs> I am taking all these little breaks that she gives me and I'm just going to the house laying on the couch, which sucks because it's been so nice outside. It's like, it's like summer and I'm, inside napping it's actually torture so the good thing about having christmas literally next door which is mark's dad's place is the fact that uh when i see something happening on the cameras i can come and check it even though i had to totally get changed into my barn clothes again <laughs> Uh, there is a you that has been circling and getting up and down and up and down for the last hour and a half or so and I just have an uneasy feeling about it. I've already had two backwards lambs today and if I'm around I just would feel a lot better checking them. So I'm just in the barn now to check this you. Make sure she's okay. Did I get the right one? I hope so. I think I did. Yep. Okay, so she's got a little discharge but she doesn't look crazy. Oh. Can I check? I just want to do an internal. Let's make sure everything's okay. No, I think you're just starting. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave her. I can't even feel anything. I can't feel the cervix. It's just like a soft, almost just a soft sack of nothing. If, if it was kind of ruptured and I could feel feet, then I would know she's ready to go. But she's still, she's just starting. So she's another ways away. Now me just stimulating that a little bit might be enough to stimulate her everything to start moving again, which sometimes happens. Uh, she's, she was just barely dilated. So she's, she's, she's bit me. She's pretty much dilated now, but it's quite dry, so it's nothing's broke or ruptured. So I'm gonna let her. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. She's obviously in labor because they ball like that, and she's been up and down. So I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna go eat supper with my family. If that's okay, is that okay? I yes. I did not take your baby. I do not have your baby. Their hormones do amazing things because usually. She, Sheep don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> You're very aggressive. 
I don't have it. I did not pull it out. No, I don't have anything. You're so funny. <laughs> it sucks. I'm sorry. I know labor, <laughs> labor sucks, but it's so worth it. <laughs> yes. Are you good? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. <laughs> I know. That you, I've been watching her in the camera. She lay on Belle by herself, so I didn't have to do anything after all. And I thought she only had one. I'm just gonna take a look. Yep, she just had one. Hi. This one, baby? I could have put, I could have put a quad on you. Well, I couldn't leave the barn uh, without trying to make sure those quads all got some milk before I left tonight. Two of them drank out of the bottle, two of them wouldn't even touch it. So two of them are at least getting enough from mum, and then two of course aren't getting enough. So I'm glad I did this, and I also forgot about the quads that I took off this afternoon that Carissa worked with today. She had them on the machine for part of the day, but I came in tonight and they were really, really, really crying for milk. So I gave them, between the two of them, they drank a whole bottle. So I will work on them. They should be good and hungry in the morning to get on that machine, hopefully. And then I'll have to pull two of those that drank really well tonight. I'll have to pull them off and put on the machine. They just, mom just can't service four. That's why I pull usually two off if there's quads. Triplets, I really just make a judgment call uh, if there's one that will take a bottle after a day or so, then I will take that out. If none of them want to take a bottle, then sometimes I just leave them with their mom. And then just kind of watch them and see if they go backwards. 